today our lesson is going to be about web browsers. Most people have heard the term web browser. You mean that little blue E? Well, yeah, that little blue E. That is Internet Explorer. That is what comes with pretty much every version of Windows since the beginning of time. There have been a lot of new web browsers that have come out over the past few years that have given Internet Explorer a run for its money. The very first one, we'll start with that. That's Internet Explorer. That's this blue E right here. You know, you can see it pulls up web content and pretty much anything you would want to do, you can do it with Internet Explorer. The other browsers, there is this one called Google Chrome. And we'll open it up and as you can see, it looks just like Internet Explorer and opens up YouTube or whatever other website you want to go to same exact way same exact websites my favorite is Firefox I think Firefox is probably the safest the fastest or one of the fastest plus it has some cool features that I really like and I'll get into those in a little bit but as you can see Firefox loads a web page just like everything else there's a couple other ones that are a little older they're not very commonly used but I'll mention them anyway because you might have heard of them one of them is called Opera it loads web pages different menus and things like that every browser has got a little bit different layout and interface and things like that the last one here I'm gonna talk about is Safari now Safari is traditionally used on uh, Apple computer um, and it's an okay browser uh, I don't particularly care for it but it's not bad um, problem is, is it is going to be um, it's basically the PC version, the Windows version, as you can see, they're going to stop supporting it, at least on YouTube and probably a handful of other websites. Those are the five browsers specifically that I'm going to touch on. Firefox has this cool feature right here called Sync. Now, you may say, well, why do I need that? Well, okay, I'll give you my example. I have a computer business where good portion of the time I'm sitting in front of my computer working on something but a lot of times I'm on my iPhone or my iPad and I come across a website that I want to save and I create what's known as a bookmark you've probably heard of internet favorites those are basically bookmarks in Firefox so same thing um, favorites are bookmarks but same concept you're saving a website to go back to later say I want to bookmark this website I want to come back to this later because I don't really feel like messing with it now one of my features that I love in Firefox is this thing called sync now basically what you do is you create a free Firefox account uh, it's totally safe totally secure they don't ask for any information but basically you create an account here and then now you can synchronize all of your bookmarks across any device that's logged into Firefox. Another reason is Firefox is open source, which means people can develop for it, make changes to it, make it better, make it safer. It is one of the safer browsers because it doesn't have a lot of the security vulnerabilities that some of the other browsers do. I love it, I've used it for years. It's just, to me, it's just better. It updates itself, it constantly is making sure that you're safer and it just is a to me is a better browsing experience told you opera is basically an older browser not a whole lot of people use it safari is great if you have an apple or a mac um, but again on the pc certain websites will stop supporting it for you know you'll get this message here when you go to a website saying we're going to stop supporting it well that may be fine on YouTube, and as you can see for now, it still works, but say, what if it's your, your banking, your online banking, and they don't support it anymore? Then you have to switch to a different browser. Firefox, by comparison, is always updating and always making itself compatible, and most websites now are either Internet Explorer or Firefox compatible. So um, if you use one of those, again, if you have a Mac, you don't have to worry about it. It will constantly update because you're using a Mac. It's a whole different ball game. We're talking about just desktop uh, PC computers most people again when they get their brand new computer all the vi only any um, browser they have is Internet Explorer here which is 
what everybody has by default and they have their favorites and that's most of the time all they use. Now what I will tell you is that if you've used a computer for years, it's always worked for you, never had any issues with it, you generally don't have any viruses or anything like that, you could continue to use it. Now let me also reiterate that this is a Windows 7 PC, that's part of the reason why you're getting these messages here because uh, Internet Explorer has been upgraded to Microsoft Edge in Windows 10. But if you've used Internet Explorer for, you know, a hundred years and it's always worked for you and you're happy with it, then I say stay with it. That means generally you are a low risk user. You're not going to have uh, a lot of the problems that uh, a lot of people have. If you like to surf around a lot you like to browse things maybe go to websites that you don't necessarily know i would stay away from this web browser specifically because microsoft i don't know when exactly it was it wasn't i don't know maybe a year ago made a public announcement that they were aware that their browser was unsafe and recommended using a different browser in which case I don't like it anyway I just don't care for it the features there's not a whole lot of features in it I like now the other thing I want to address and this is probably my biggest concern is a lot of people love Google Chrome but I want to demonstrate something here that a lot of people maybe don't know so one day when I was working on a computer I went and I was looking at the individual settings for the what's called proxy settings basically it's how your browser connects to the internet okay now here is the internet properties window for Google Chrome okay now if you'll notice when I go here Google Chrome is still saying Internet Explorer is not your default browser it didn't make any sense to me so I went into Internet Explorer to look at the same exact options and what I found when I looked at Internet Explorer options and Google Chrome options side by side, look at that, identical. That worried me a little bit because that told me that on the surface Google Chrome is basically just Internet Explorer maybe safer maybe with a few extra features but the core is still Internet Explorer which is arguably untrusted unsafe I prefer Firefox that's my browser of choice uh, the other question would be okay well if you couldn't use Firefox what would you use good question in order I would use Firefox first I would likely use Google Chrome second just because it is an enhanced version of Internet Explorer. Uh, third, I would probably use Safari because it is made by Apple and Apple is make, makes bulletproof software and products and I would probably trust them more than any of the other browsers. Then I would probably use Opera if I just wanted to surf the web. I would probably use Internet Explorer absolute dead last in Windows 7 just because of the safety and security. Think of the Internet as your grocery store. Now, how do you get there? Well, you can take the Ferrari, which is fast but probably not the safest. You could take the one, or you know, the prettiest car, maybe it's fast and it's pretty, but maybe it's not the best. Or you could take the minivan, which is probably super safe, but really maybe not that much to look at. Or you could just take the little four-door Volvo that is safe, reliable, and it's kind of sharp looking, but you're going to get to the grocery and back with no problem. The long and short of it is, is it doesn't really matter how you get to the grocery as long as you get there. It doesn't matter how you get to the internet as long as you get there. So whether you use Firefox or Google Chrome or Safari or Opera or Internet Explorer, the goal is the same and that is to get to the internet. If you are a low risk user who doesn't generally get infected, use whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever makes you happy. Try them all. Try one if you want to stick with the blue E, which is what everybody calls it, 
and it's working for you and you're happy with it, I'm not going to try to convince you otherwise. My job is just to explain to you what those options are in case you decide maybe you need to take it up a notch as far as safety and security. With that, everybody stay safe um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.